So something else theater related that I was doing. So I got the new Kaleidoscape set up per the some of the last videos that were posted on the channel. We took a look at the Strato C, the Compact Terra, the rack mount, and I did the installation in the prior vlogs. Got that all set up. My home internet I was running, I had a, a company called WOW as our local provider. Thankfully, I can get both Comcast and some cheaper AT&T, slower AT&T, and WOW. So I actually have competition for internet service to our house, which is great. But I've been using WOW for a while. I had their 500 megabit per second service, um, 500 meg download, and been using that, that quite well. Now that I got the new Kaleidoscape set up and I started downloading movies to stuff I want to watch and, and filling up that Terra. I was getting good download rates, you know, certainly in the 400s, right, to, uh, right at the edge of saturating the 500 megabit. And I was looking at that and thinking like, man, so it was taking you know, more on the order of 15 minutes to download a full 4K movie if I was getting a good 450 to 475 megabit bandwidth. And I, I know there's more potential in there. So I called up WoW the other day and I'm like, hey, you know, actually we got a flyer in the mail advertising the, the one gig service, which I did have before, but we were on a promo and then we were off the promo. So the price went up a little bit and I, and I was able to get a better deal on the 500. So we had pulled it back. But now that I got that Kaleidoscape and that Terra, I want to be able to fire a 4K movie into that thing off the internet as fast as I can. And I know those Terras can go faster. I think they advertise something like up to 800 megabit per second. So in any, in any case, I called up WoW and I'm like, hey, I really want to upgrade to your one gig service. I've been a customer for a long time. You know, I'm happy to go back into another contract. Give me a promo. Give me a deal. What can you do for me? And in the end, they uh, I, I didn't get a temporary promo, but they did offer me the one gig internet service for, I think, within like $12 of what I was paying for the 500 megabit. I want to say we were paying like 60 bucks for 500 megabit service and we got the I got the one gig for like 72 easy no brainer um, I, I'm active online on the internet um, all the time all day long so uh, I don't mind jumping that up so yeah the download rates now exceeding 800 megabit per second 4k movies in like eight minutes nine minutes something like that almost saturating the one gig connection i'll put a couple of pictures up here that show some of the movies that i downloaded in some of the best rates that that i've seen so far you don't get that every single time sometimes there's a hiccup sometimes the servers slow down or whatever and, and there's an ebb and a flow to it but by and large um, it does deliver at those rates and pretty awesome so the response time to be able to pick a movie from the k store or pick a movie from my k library and have it ready to watch is about as fast as you could hope for. So this Compact Terra is just zipping along. And I think I'll really like having the, the 1 gig uh, service again. Strangely, as soon as I made the change to the 1 gig service, my cable modem started acting up. So I did pull another little home theater upgrade. Went and bought a new cable modem that same day. Motorola Doxis 3.1 cable modem. Does up to 2.5 gig per second. Of course, I'm, I only need the one gig, but this was the one that seemed to be recommended quite a bit. I had an Aris modem, and after doing a little bit of research when it was acting up and I wasn't having a really good stable connection that day after they changed my service, um, I came to realize that, like, I guess my cable modem had some kind of a hardware firmware bug. It's an Intel based cable modem, and uh, I don't remember offhand what it was called, but in any case, a bunch of these Intel cable modems um, had these hardware bugs in them over the last few years that results in all kinds of like extra latency and so on. And I recall quite a few times my wife mentioning to me or asking me questions. She's like, you know, are you getting like really hitchy, like web page loading and stuff like that? So I think maybe sometimes we were tripping a bug in that cable modem. So I just took the old Aris to Best Buy with me, put it in the recycle bin because uh, I'm not going to sell it or try to sell it to anybody with the bug and then again this this Motorola seemed to be the one and it's working great I can say with this guy plugged in and the service upgrade our uh, our internet screaming and again that Kaleidoscape maximum potential um, so that's that's pretty sweet I'm very very happy with that and the way that's running right now